I always talk about this thing called the paradox of choice, which, um, uh, yeah, constantly talking about how uh, more than ever today, there are so many options uh, in basically anything you want to do, uh, and how do you alleviate that paradox of choice? So I always take the example of a customer walking into a food court, overwhelmed by uh, the 12, 13, 14 options they have to choose from, um, some really good brands, uh, some really great QSRs in that space. Uh, and that creates what's essentially a paradox of choice. Um, and people tend to then lean towards the brands that they trust. So a lot of the big player QSR brands um, have that advantage where they're either better placed or have a brand that resonates with their market. Um, and so it's my job to really try and alleviate that. Um, so we're trying to uh, elevate the Sandwich Chef's brand, not only its identity, store design, menu. Um, we're working really closely with our franchisees on local area marketing, the importance of that, so that when a customer walks in to the food court, we are an option. It's made um, a huge impact for us. Uh, the ability to actually talk directly with customers is probably the biggest benefit for us. Um, also content, you know, so much fun. Uh, so we start to inject a massive amount of brand personality into sandwich chefs, uh, which in a shopping centre can be quite static. Uh, you just walk past it, there's some POS signage, uh, where social media allows us to have a little bit of fun. Uh, and uh, also tap into a market that perhaps we wouldn't ordinarily talk to which is a bonus. There's a real importance, I think, in today's society that um, we don't just rely on the one model, which is predominantly shopping centres for us. We don't have any high street stores, and we are 100% franchise owned. So um, we know we need to diversify our model a little bit, just to the benefit of our network and um, also the benefit of the business. Uh, and yeah, so we, we, we spoke to Fresh Trading Co, which is actually a petrol station operator. Um, they liked our product. I actually think uh, someone came in and experienced the whole Sam Chef's look and feel and, and actually contacted us, which was great. Um, and our network development manager worked really hard to try and to build that deal. Um, and we're locked in potentially for 14 petrol stations next year, which is it's crazy. And we just opened our first one in WA in October that went really well. Um, we're looking at now expanding into drive-through. Trying to build as many campaigns as we can, trying to leverage off any contra deals that we can get with suppliers such as Menulog, um, really trying to grow the awareness of our brand. Uh, and then also technologically we're trying to improve the systems and processes in store. Um, we've got a, a new catering menu that's launching, the ability to order that online. We want to look towards a, a new loyalty app for the second half of next year. Um, you know, who knows, we might even do some drone delivery stuff, um, particularly now that we're located in um, areas such as uh, FTC sites, which you know, we can have some fun with. Uh, we basically want to do as much as we can to cut through the noise that's out there. So expect to see some weird and wonderful and wacky campaigns um, that hopefully resonate with our audience uh, and new, fun, exciting product.